My girlfriend wants to kill me. Season 3, Episode 4. brains out all over the concrete. It's your choice if he lives or dies. On the count of three, I'm pulling this trigger, said Crazy Mary, with her finger ready to squeeze as Misty watched on in horror. One, two, and... Wait, don't kill him! Chandler 
We have no other choice. No, Misty. I'm not getting in that car without you, said Chandler, his voice cracking. It's not an option. You both listen to me. Neither one of you is in any position to make demands. I'm the one with the gun, said Crazy Mary in a sinister tone. But I'm the one with the laptop, so you are going to do it my way or else, said Misty, her voice firm. Or else? Who in the fuck do you think you're talking to? How about I just blow his brains out, then kill you too, said Crazy Mary heatedly. Jackson narrowed his eyes at Mary. Mary, just let him go and keep her. At least we'll have the laptop, he said. And even though Crazy Mary was not one to take demands, she knew that he had a point. Mary's eyes shifted toward Jackson. Fine, take him to the car and let him go, said Crazy Mary. And at the same time, you hand me the laptop. Misty walked the laptop over to Mary and placed it into her hands as Jackson placed Chandler in the front seat of the car. Misty's eyes flooded with tears and Chandler's eyes mimicked them. Can I at least kiss him goodbye? Asked Misty, but she knew that she was asking a woman with a heart that was rotten. Do you think I'm stupid? Said Crazy Mary, chuckling under her breath. Then let Jackson walk me over, said Misty. Mary was in deep thought, then widened her eyes as they shifted toward Jackson. If she tries anything, kill the bitch, said Crazy Mary as Jackson walked Misty over to Chandler. Misty leaned through the window and placed a kiss on Chandler's forehead, then whispered something into his ear. Jackson kept aim at her skull. Then, all of a sudden, Misty grabbed a gun from her back pocket and placed it to Jackson's head. Where in the hell did you get a gun? Replied Misty. You see, Mary, you're not the only one who's clever. When you killed the homeless man, I bent down to help him. His last words were, take my gun. So I grabbed it and stowed it into my back pocket. Now here's what I want you to do. Slide the laptop back over to me. If you don't, I'll blow your boyfriend's brains out. As Jackson's heartbeat quickened, Crazy Mary's remained calm as a broad smile stretched across her face. Go ahead, kill him. See if I give a fuck, said Mary cold-heartedly with a giggle in her tone. What 